Even what he promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But see, we don't really believe the Bible. We, we got all kind of Joel Osteens that are preaching today. And they're preaching to make you feel good. And that's not what the gospel is all about. Now, you can get upset with me if you want to. I was dead, dead on the have a whole lot wider ministry than I've got. And Jimmy Baker, they're selling all kinds of foods and survival kits. And now they're having a problem because they had a Jew on their program that wrote a book, The Habinger. And they went back and looked at the book of Revelation and said, well, what we've been preaching doesn't fit in there. Not any rapture. Not in a thousand years of millennial reign outside of the reign of the church that started in the upper room in Jerusalem over 2,000 years ago. Now, Matthew the 13th chapter and the 57th verse, talk about it. Last time I'm going to refer to it again. Disciples came to him and said, Master, they are offended. They were offended in him. Now, you don't want to get too overly religious because Religion is not going to save you. As I stated in that funeral message yesterday, that pure religion is feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, and housing the homeless. Well, we don't have time for that, Jeff. You know. But here it said they were offended in him. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country, in his own house. You get around your own people, they're not going to listen to you. My kids don't listen to me. My grandkids don't listen to me. People that have been coming to church for 50 years don't listen to me. The neighborhood doesn't listen to me. Why? Familiarity. We know who you are, but I'm not talking about me. And Jesus said, I'm not talking about himself. <coughs> he said, I'm telling you what the Father has given to me to show to you. And you're refusing it. They, they are offended in, well, now, we're not offended a lot of things, but when it comes to talking about our belief in God and our belief in the Bible, maybe it's because we don't know enough about the Bible. We haven't opened the Bible up and found out what the warranty or the guarantee is for this vessel that we're walking around in. In Matthew 11 and 6, Blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Blessed is he that shall not be offended in me. Well, now wait a minute. We, we don't want to talk about religion. We don't want to talk about politics. We don't want because you might offend somebody. Because that's where people already got their mind made up, right, wrong, or indifferent of what they think they believe. And Jesus said, Blessed is he that is not offended in me. Now look at what the Bible says in John the 16th chapter and the first verse. See, if we're going to have light shining in the darkness that's on the face of this earth, he said, which, which way is America going? Where is America going? Well, America's going to hell. Oh, wait a minute. Do you, you mean the lake of fire? 
know the, what the Bible term hell really means. Confusion, desolation, bewilderment. Where are we at? If we're not in confusion and desolation, now they're talking about that we're not paying enough taxes, they want to take some more. Who wants to? Politicians. I don't care what brand of politician we're talking about. What is it that the Bible said here? The things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. I have spoken unto you, I have given you enough information that when these things happen, you shouldn't be offended. Now people talking about a great tribulation coming. Read the, your Bible in the area in the context that it's written in. Well, great tribulation is coming upon the earth. And we're identifying it as earthquakes and fire and winds. Those have happened ever since the earth was created. And they'll continue to happen because that's the evolution of nature. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, well, well, not the sign of the end of the world, a sign to, of the end of the age. Now, the world, when it says the end of the world, if you read in the Greek, uh, it will tell you the end of human government. Amen. Lord. The end of the world. It's not talking about the end of the earth. You can't go to the end of the earth. I've been around the world several times and there's no end to it. Now or never. And as the lightning shineth from the east to the west. Hello, yes. socialist coming be. See, you can find a pole up north in the Arctic and you can go down to Antarctica and find a pole. Been the pole? Blue over bowl. But there's no end of the east and the west. There's no end of what God has promised. Now listen to what that he said. Blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Now he, he said to, to Peter, and this offends a lot of people. I look at him and tell him, well, say, well what, what religion are you? I'm not a religious individual. I don't do enough feeding the hungry and clothing the naked and housing the poor to be very religious. Although I'm chairman of the board of Wasco Affordable Housing and we're spent building hundreds of starting them out in Lost Hills now. What are, I'm Catholic. That offends people. I'm not a Roman Catholic because the Roman Catholic Church didn't start until somewhere around the third century whenever they put it together. Catholic means universal. I belong to the church of the Lord Jesus Christ that he spake to Peter and said, Thou art Peter and upon this rock I will build my church. We, we, can we comprehend what Jesus told Peter? The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The devil is not going to defeat the movement that I am starting in the earth. Amen. Hallelujah, that's what he said. The gates of hell shall not prevail. It's not hell coming against us. It's us going against hell. Driving out the fear and the confusion and the darkness. Gross darkness shall cover the whole earth. We're there. But he said, little children, don't worry about it. Ye are the light of the world. You're the salt of the earth. 